Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? It's your main man, EJ Sparks, here on the Dragon Geeks channel, and y'all know what time it is. It is another episode of SH Figure Arts vs. Dragon Stars. Now, this one, I am a little bit late. I know there are some other people that compared these two figures, but I really wanted to do one myself. So today, we are going to be comparing Jiren. That's right, we are comparing SH Fig Yards Jiren the Grey versus Dragon Stars Jiren the Grey. And you know how we do on this channel. We go ahead and take a look at paint and detail, articulation, we scale with other figures. We let you know if it is worth the buy for either one of these figures and which one wins out in this battle. So, strap those seatbelts on, ladies and gents, because here we go. Alrighty guys, we're going to go ahead and start with SH Fig Yards Jiren. And this guy, he's just a beauty as soon as you look at him right out of the package. And I was very excited to get him. I actually just recently got him last week. And so let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. We'll take a look at the paint and detail first. So, um, when we look at the head and the eyes, like, this guy has so much detail just on his face. I know that Jaren's got such a plain face, but when you look at the mouth, you look at the nose, and even look at the detail in the eyes, like just how much time they actually put into the eyes and sculpting like the outline for where the eyebrows would be and even the ears just everything up top looks spectacular and um, the body there's not a whole lot to say because I mean there's not a whole lot of shading because of the way that his body is but it also does look very good as well as when you look at the gloves and everything, it looks like there's some light shading going on in there. Same thing with the white boots. It's not like a solid color of the white. So just looking at this guy, he looks great. We're going to go ahead and take a look at articulation here. So this is one of the best articulated figures I've ever had personally. So he can, he can look pretty far up for his head. He can look down, which is pretty cool. And of course he can look side to side. And something I do like about this Jiren, it has one of the most unique like pegs when you take his head off it has like this peg which is like super easy to get on and super easy to get off but at the same time it's not loose like it goes right on but it's not loose like it has no functionality problems at all okay so that's pretty cool and the neck itself is articulated so not just the head the neck itself is articulated and you go down to the body and his arms get like great range great range on there and he's got like the butterfly joints going on so it comes out very very wide in his back here so you can definitely bring the arms across the chest and of course we got our typical bicep swivel and our double jointed elbow going on on there and his ab crunch is pretty darn amazing like he doesn't lean over that far but he can lean back super far look at that range you get on there and that can make for great posing if he's looking up or if you want to have him like powering up and poking out that huge Jiren chest that he has so that itself looks good um, got some waist action going on here and um, then once we come down to the bottom portion you know this thigh kind of moves out and um, can get kicks straight up but as you can hear that squeaking in there I don't know if it's a brand it's if it's because it's a brand new figure or if it's just mine but that, that's kind of a pain in the bottom. Um, I really like when it functions where it just goes straight up without any like clicking or squeaking. So that knocks off some points, but it's not a major party foul. Um, we got that double jointed knee, of course. And um, for the legs, you can do pretty good range for the splits there. And of course, you saw the front kicks. You can't really do a back kick because his glutes are just fantastic. And then of course, we got... Uh, sort of an ankle rocker not much but then we got the bend here so that's good and of course we got the hands on a ball peg so articulation is just about bang on for this guy like I said the only thing I don't like is that squeaking for the legs but otherwise he gets really good range for front kicks I mean he can do side kicks pretty well come all the way up that looks really good so articulation uh, we'll probably just give it probably give it like a nine um, it's hard to say because I don't know if everybody's figure is like this. It could just be mine because it's brand new and out of the package. But, yeah, everything looks good and feels good, so let's go ahead and move on to accessories. Okay, so starting with the faces, of course Jiren has the neutral face that comes on him in the package. But he also has the face that's like kind of the yelling face right here to the left. 
He's got the gritted teeth face, and he's got those red eyes. I think that's the infinity attack that he used in the Tournament of Power. So he comes with three different heads. That in itself is just great for um, accessories. But um, for the hands, he also has some open hands right here for shooting key blasts. He has some like karate chop hands. And he has one left open hand and one right gripping hand that actually grips the head of Super Saiyan Blue Goku, which we will test out here shortly. And he also has the yellow fist for his right hand, one of his techniques that he used. Um, he's got like a fire energy wave technique that comes with him as well. And he also has the crossed arms that you can pose on him very spectacularly. So, accessories for Jiren are bang on. 100% 10 out of 10. Alright, moving on here. You know what's coming next. We definitely got to scale this bad boy with some other figures and see how he looks. So how about putting him against some people that he fought in the Tournament of Power. Like we got a Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta right here. And uh, they scale very nicely together. Again, Jiren's not like a like a giant. He doesn't completely tower over Vegeta, but he is definitely taller than him. And then um, we also have Super Saiyan Blue Goku here. This was a pretty epic match in the Tournament of Power as well. So they scale very well together, look very nice. And of course, the most important one, we have Ultra Instinct Goku right here with Jiren and they look very good together they complement each other very well and for the hell of it we're gonna do one more uh, Broly right here from the new Broly movie not full power but come on now that's the real dream match that we all want to see right there my money is on Jiren okay let's go and move him out the way here and there's something that I really wanted to test because part of the accessories we saw this right here we have the hand kind of holding on to the front part of Super Saiyan Blue Goku, so let's go ahead and test that out. We're gonna pop off this right hand here and uh, pop on this right here if it works for me. Here we go, it's on that ball peg. Looks like it's on there pretty well. Hang on there, buddy. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab that Super Saiyan Blue Goku and just take that front plate off and see how well that goes on there. Here we go. Oh, wow. Would you look at that? That looks fantastic. See, for posing purposes, this this is amazing. Like, you can just recreate so many different things just with this. So, I'm really loving this Jaren right now. Really loving it. Okay, let's go ahead and take that off. And um, I think we're going to put this glowing hand back on there because uh, this looks really cool. So, um, yeah, guys, I think we're getting ready to give our final verdict. Alright guys, final verdict on SH Figure Arts Jiren the Grey. Like I said, he has quickly become one of my absolute favorite figures that I've added to my collection. His accessories are bang on, he's a beauty to look at. The only issue that I have, literally the only issue, is the articulation in the legs. Some of the joints are kind of squeaky, and it's sort of like that with the arms as well. Like I said guys, it could be because it's a brand new figure. I don't know if everyone's is like that, but mine's is definitely doing that. And um, sometimes when you put on the uh, cross arms, you got to just be very careful with any of these. But with this one, I had a bit of an issue um, just putting back on the regular arm. But like I said, it could just be my figure. So, I mean, with these giving me trouble and kind of the squeakiness, it's definitely not a perfect figure. But it is damn near close to perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and rate this bad boy a 9 out of 10. Solid 9. And off that note, we're going to go ahead and move on to Jiren the Grey Dragon Stars. Alrighty guys, and on to Dragon Stars Jiren here. We're gonna do the exact same thing that we just did with the SH Fig Arts. We're gonna take a look at this bad boy who I actually got last year, and when I got this guy, I was really excited to have him, and I didn't think the Dragon Stars did that bad of a job. So let's go ahead and take a look at him. So we're gonna start with a uh, paint and detail. So of course Dragon Stars don't really have shading going on there. But um, he's honestly not a terrible figure for what he is and the price point. Um, the face, I think it captures Jiren enough. Like, it does have the dark eyes and the gray around there. And he has the very serious stern face and the tiny little nose on there. And um, the suit, I mean, it does look just like the Pride Trooper suit. Um, this is not as dark as the SH Fig Arts. 
Um, it's more of a it's more of a light black or a gray color. Same thing with the pants. So I mean, I guess it depends on the lighting. You can have your opinion if you like it or not. But honestly, it doesn't look too bad. Um, but when we come down here, the legs, I really do not like the legs. They are ridiculously tiny. I know that Jiren's legs aren't huge, but they're not this small. He has not been skipping leg day, people. So because of how tiny the legs and the feet are, sometimes he is kind of a pain to try to stand up or pose. Again, not impossible, but he is kind of tricky sometimes, okay? So then when we take a look at articulation, um, head looks up about this much, so... It's not a whole lot, but it gets the job done. Looks down pretty far, which is good, um, side to side. And of course we don't have butterfly joints on Dragon Stars, but uh, we do have the bicep swivel, double jointed elbow action here, and this is on a ball peg here. Um, no ab crunch, unfortunately. He's pretty stiff in the body, and the way that his body is made, um, he can't exactly do front kicks. They come out to the side like that. That's how a lot of Dragon Stars are. Um, splits, he can't really do the splits. No good functionality there. And back kicks come out to the side as well. So, side kick goes up about that far, unfortunately. But um, he's got that double jointed knee. Knee actually does look really good. And um, no ankle rocker, but we do have a little bit of functioning right there. So, um, not, not, not terrible but of course not the best and again for like $20 figures you can't expect something spectacular so articulation for what it is for Dragon Stars I guess we'll give it like a 7 I don't know let's go ahead and move on to accessories alright we know the deal when it comes to Dragon Stars by now usually it just comes with an extra set of hands so he has the open hands or sort of gripping hands and that's the only accessories that uh, Dragon Stars Jiren comes with so not much to expect there. Alright now we're gonna go ahead and scale this bad boy with some other figures my favorite part let's go ahead and put him with the legendary assassin never miss hit and um, they scale decently together Jiren's still a bit taller than him but right here maybe it's because I got Jiren's knees bent but hit looks like he might be like slightly taller than him hmm. I don't know but we know that the scaling is never super duper on point with Dragon Stars so we'll go ahead and move this guy on out the way we also have Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta with Dragon Stars here and for that one that one doesn't look too bad actually not not too bad and one more of course we have Dragon Stars Ultra Instinct Goku matched up with Jiren right there okay so in your collection he does look very good like matched up with some of the other figures alright and well I think we're gonna go ahead and get ready to decide our final verdict alright final verdict on this guy um, I got him last year when he first came out it was close to thirty dollars now you can find him anywhere between like fifteen and twenty five dollars so for the price point he's not bad um, he looks okay in a display and he uh, he works very well if you wanted a figure to just play with um, but overall compared to the SH figure arts um, I'd give this guy we'll go ahead and give him a seven because again he's not a terrible figure but he's not the best thing Dragon Stars has put out so we're gonna go ahead and give this guy a seven okay guys and now we get to the final verdict on both of these guys so um, Dragon Stars Jiren, like I mentioned, is going for anywhere between $15 to $25. And SH Figure Arts Jiren right now is anywhere between like $50 and $60. And for these two going up against each other, I say that the clear-cut winner is SH Figure Arts Jiren. Okay? So it's always it always all depends on what you guys are looking for for your collection. But this one, I would definitely say spend the extra $30 bucks on this one just with the accessories alone like it's definitely a lot more worth it and you get a lot more bang for your buck and he just looks a lot better but would I say that they are worth the buy I say that they definitely are and a lot of people do prefer Dragon Stars over SH Big Arts so if you are one of those people then yeah definitely go ahead and purchase this Jiren right here I definitely say it is worth the buy to check out and look at for yourself alright well, guys, I've really enjoyed uh, reviewing this video, or this figure, with you guys in this video. Easy for me to say. 
And, um, of course, just stay tuned. Stay on the lookout for more content and more figure reviews. So please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for the next episode of SH Figure Arts vs. Dragon Stars. I'll catch you on the flip side. Challenges may come